That sounds like a lot of money. It's no biggie. Daddy knows I need a vacation after my exhausting summer in Bermuda. Besides, it's our last chance to have fun before school starts. Oh, don't remind me. Another year of sleeping through classes on those hard school chairs and putting up with geeks. Life can be so hard. Hey, guys. Hey, Liz. What is she doing here? I had to invite her. As usual, she spent her entire summer working. This is a problem I can just... No! I guess one more person on the account won't hurt. There they are. Hi, guys. They're multiplying. Liz, what are they doing here? Well, I mentioned the trip to Todd, and he said something about it to Cheryl, and, well, <laughs> ain't it a bird? <laughs> this is some fancy resort. Look, they even have fun napkins. Tacos, cool. Mmm. What's in these? Caviar. What's that? Fish eggs. Oh. oh, that's attractive. Will there be any other charm school graduates joining us? Look at it this way. At least Winston is not here. Hey, hey, ladies! Yes, party! <laughs> <laughs> I kept everything the little captors gave me. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. You could have killed that kid. Ain't it? It's only a kite. Tell that to little Becky Somers. One minute she was making a macaroni necklace, and the next minute she had a dragon kite stuck in her neck. Ouch. Remember, Winston, kites don't kill kids. Kids with kites do. Heads up! Hey! Thanks for the warning, Todd. Sorry, Winston. I thought you were open. Just remember, Todd, footballs don't hurt kids. Kids with footballs do. Hey, give me back my kite. This is. They don't even have cable. 
Well, cable's not gonna do it. You're gonna need a satellite dish, but I don't think this hotel is gonna be able to uplink to a comsat system. Or a useless info from Loserland. Winston Computer Camp really turned you into a nerd. What do you mean, turned into? Yeah. Finally! When I tell you it's an emergency, I expect my Neptune to be within 15 minutes, or I get it for free. Si, sí, señorita. Put it on the Fowler account and add a dollar yeah. for your trouble. Are you sure that's okay? No, you're right. Make it five dollars. Gracias, señorita. Anything you want to do, just sign Fowler. Really? Trust me. Lila said so. I need to ask you something about Manny. Well, he's about five foot six, but he carries himself like he's five foot seven. No, I mean, does he ever, well, talk about me? I think the question is, will he ever stop talking about you? Do you remember when he asked to borrow a lock of your hair for that chemistry experiment? Yeah. Yeah, well, still hanging in his locker. Wow, <laughs> that is so sweet. Not to mention creepy. Here you are. Thanks. We're here for our two o'clock guacamole rub. Let me guess, you must be Lila Fowler. That's right. And we want imported avocados. I'm Paco, the hotel manager. The hotel computer has tracked excessive spending on your account. Good thing Lila happens to be excessively wealthy. The computer has put an automatic hold on the account until the bill is paid in full. Whatever. Can we go now? Jessica has a short attention span. Huh? I'm so sorry, but we don't accept American Express. What do you mean you don't accept American Express? We're Americans. This is boring. Just call up your father and have him cough up the cash. Jess, my father is sailing in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Oh, wait. No problemo. Here's 500. Now run along. I'm afraid that just won't do it, senoritas. You owe much more than that. $7,832 to be exact. Excusez-moi? Would that be cash? Or traveler's checks. Just grow up already and ask your daddy for the money. I can't. Before we left, he lectured me on my spending habits. He even threatened me with... a limit. A spending limit? We're stuck in a foreign country with no money and a huge bill to pay. Things can't get any worse. Hey, you guys want to go for a dip? Oh, excuse me. I would never share the same ocean with you. Come on, Dino. Let's go find some nice women. Now he's talking to inflatable animals? What 
did they do to him at computer camp? Wait a minute. Didn't Paco say that the computer froze your account? Yeah, so? So, all we have to do is break into the computer and erase the total. That is downright devious and unethical. I love it. Do you know how to use a computer? No. But I know how to use Winston. Oh, Winston! You rang? Lila and I have been dying to hear about your summer at computer camp. You have? I think you spend too much time in the sun. <laughs> You're so witty. Isn't he witty, Lila? So what do you know about breaking into a hotel computer? I know that hacking is against the law, and that I would never do it. Wow, wow. You're such a baby. Hey, it takes a real man to stand up for what he feels is right. <laughs> hey, you! I got it! Come back here with my Dino! You gotta catch me, Mom! I can't take this anymore. No what? Well, you know what they say. When you want something done right, you, you have to pay somebody to do it. But we're broke, remember? So, we'll just have to do it ourselves. Come on. Okay, okay. Hurry, type in 5000 You're taking too long. Here. Um, we were just, uh, just checking uh, our account. Yeah, we think you've made a big mistake. Uh-huh. Yeah, big mistake. You're right. I did make a big mistake. You owe twice as much as I thought you'd be. Yes. I hope I'll see you soon, Manny. What do you think he meant by that? That he hopes he'll see you soon? That is so romantic. Hey, Liz! Let's kick this around. Todd, I'm doing a puzzle. Liz, we're on vacation. We're supposed to have fun. Okay, then help me with the crossword. Thanks. All those squares make me nauseous. Hey, let's go for a run on the beach. Actually, I just feel like relaxing. Liz, you had all summer to relax. Excuse me? Todd, I worked really hard this summer. Unlike some people I know who got up at the crack of noon. Hey, guys. Having fun? Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, loads of fun. This is ridiculous. We're going to talk to them. So what do you guys want to do next? <laughs> okay, freeloaders. <laughs> Pay up. What are you talking about? You people owe me $15,664 for all the charges you racked up on my account. No way. Why is she kidding? You guys should be ashamed of yourselves for taking advantage of Lila's generosity. Like you can talk, Miss Neptune's feast. Todd, were you jet skiing all morning? I'm not the one who ordered the mariachi band to serenade you to sleep. One of us spent an awful lot of time at the hotel gift shop, Jessica. If you're not our girl, no. you're not your girl. I, I do have a bit of good news. The hotel manager was going to send us to jail, but I convinced him to let us work off our debt. Work? Here are your new job assignments. Job assignments? Wait, Lila, what are you going to do? I'm the activities coordinator. What activities are you coordinating? Yeah. Yours. Now get going. This is ridiculous. I didn't even, I didn't even do anything. I just want to get it. I didn't even want the mariachi band. You know, I was skiing for four hours. It wasn't like I was jet skiing all day. Okay? Yeah, but you still jet skiing. A kid threw up in Cabana 3. And Winston, Mrs. Greenbaum needs sunscreen on her back. Pronto. Ugh. This is who? Greenbaum? Greenbaum? Over here, boys. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm here. Manny, how are you? Manny, you're looking... Bob. That's lame. Manny, hey, what are these bags doing here? 
Do I have to do everything myself? You just can't get good help these days. This is the worst vacation I have ever had. Some vacation? I've never worked so hard in my life. Oh, I'm exhausted. What was your job? I had to put a whole new box of postcards on the rack. It took me at least an hour. Oh, I need a cold beverage. Carry on, people. Mmm, fresh towels. Just what I was looking for. <laughs> oh, no. Here comes the queen of mean. Okay, people. We paid off half the debt. Here's today's assignment. Oh, not again. I can't take it anymore. Something's wrong here. Yeah, nobody strangled Lila yet. I totaled up all of our charges, and it came out to only $7,832. So that's what they were up to. What? Lila and Jessica wanted me to break into the hotel computer. They must have tried to do it themselves. Yeah, but why would they have doubled the charges? Maybe because they're Lila and Jessica? So in other words, we've already worked off what we owe. And the rest is their problem. Exactly. Rich to the car. Shotgun. It's so great that we left them there. <laughs> oh, I wish I could see the look on Jess and Lila's face when they find out they have to pay off their own debt. Jess would look something like this. An industrial strength sponge? Ew. So are we still on uh, this afternoon for rollerblading? Oh, I can. I want to stop by the Oracle and set up my office. How about dinner tonight instead? Sure. Oh, uh, I'm watching the game tonight with the guys. How about tomorrow? Oh, I've got step class. And he's on his way. I haven't been this nervous since I played the yam in the third grade production of the first Thanksgiving. As the curtain went up, I froze. I had to be carried off by a couple of marshmallows. I know. How about Thanksgiving? Or are you booked then, too? Can we talk about this later? Sure. Later. Oh, my God, he's here. Do I have food in my teeth? No, you're clear. Now go. Hey, man, hey, what's up? Welcome back. Hey. Thanks, Enid. That's really nice of you. It's really good to see you. I've been thinking about you a lot lately. Manny, you're so funny. Where'd you get that silly hat? Enid gave it to me. Everybody, I want you to meet my new girlfriend. Simone, this is Winston. Hi. Hi. That's Liz. Hi. And this is Enid. When you finish, then you will stop the bratwurst and got the fish. 